Now the word God is used by Zoroastrianism. Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and Sikhism. They talk of one God. They talk of a creator God. They talk of a God who is controlling your life. They talk of a God who is judging and punishing you. In oneness, such a God does not exist. When we use the word God, what we mean is, there is something out there which is unmanifest, which is some kind of energy not known to science. That energy has no form. It has no qualities. It cannot be named. However, we call that the divine. Now, like electricity which has no form, which unless it manifests, you have no idea about it. It could manifest as light, as sound as electromagnetic waves or mechanical motion or anything. That is the manifestation of electricity. Otherwise, that itself is unmanifest. We make it manifest like that. Similarly, the divine is unmanifest. It is up to you to make it manifest. That is why we say, what manifests, we call that God. What is unmanifest, we call it the divine. What manifests, we call that personal divine or God. That you are creating. You can give it whatever name you want. Whatever form you want whatever qualities you want. You could have whatever relationship you want. It's all up to you. Now, you create this kind of God and then you build up a relationship with God. And then finally, when you die, you become that God. You become one with that God you created. That is, you become a God. And then you can help in whichever galaxy or solar system or planet you want. That is the program of oneness. 